It's time for your shadow judgment for this week of October 27th to November 2nd. Ooh, how are you doing? I hope quite well, y'all. You guys are my last. What you get? You guys got the Page of Pentacles reverse. Someone doesn't know what they're doing. And... Someone might not know how to deal with people the right way. Or doesn't want to do, or, or it just decides, you know what, fuck manners. I really don't give a fuck about what y'all, it's about me, you know? All right, so fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is for sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. Just boop your nose right there and away it goes, right? Right. Also, cross watch your switcher you need to because I don't know where anybody is. Okay? Okay. Anyway, Aries, you got two of Pentacles reversed. You have no idea where the fuck you're going or what's coming or what options to take when it comes to your options. I think you're confused. Like you have ideas about what you want, but where you're going, I don't think you're sure just yet. And that might, like, you got options, but the problem is, is, like, you don't know what to do with them. So it's like, where the fuck am I going? It's starting to get to a point where you're just like, ugh, I wish I'd stop dragging my feet and just figure out what I want to do when I grow up. You know? Like, you're pretty secure where you're at, too. I mean, like, you might have a fear of leaving home, if anything. Whether it's an actual home or whatever, I don't know. It's up to you to decide, really. Um, you might be... Mm. Um, hmm. Well, Aries. These all, like, dropped. Hmm. Aries. You're definitely sticking around and it's like you don't know where to go. You just want everything to calm down. You want a love proposal. You want somebody to make you feel special, right? However, you're overburdened by um, getting out of a toxic relationship or dealing with a really shitty Capricorn. One of the two, right? And how that left the entire world is fuckered up. Especially with the bad karma, possibly, too. Um, and now you're over here with all these options. But for some reason, you're on the lookout for a love that doesn't fucking exist, or you're looking to tell somebody, hey, I searched all the world to tell you, I don't fucking like you, you fry-eating bitch. I don't, like, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, you got some choices, man. You need to make some decisions for sure. And you probably shouldn't communicate if that's where you're going. Like, yeah, you don't know where to go, but it's like, hmm. Aries, your week is kind of like fucky, because it's like, there's a lot of like nonsense going on. All this noise and shit around you, and it's like you can't get a step in because it's like you're going in a circle. Like, you might have to actually tap into what it is that's within you to figure out what it is you want. Because I feel like there's just noise all around, and it's noise. You know? Oh, yeah, welcome to Mercury Retrograde. Right. Brace yourself. I'm just saying that. Anyway, that's probably your week, Aries. So, like, I'm not sure. I feel like you're sticking around for something that's not there for you or doesn't belong to you anymore. But the best thing for you right now is just not to communicate with that person, I feel like. Because it's like, if you try to communicate, it's just going to keep you in a fucking cycle. And that cycle's already fucked up because you're already overburdened by releasing yourself from a devil relationship. Right? Right. That's your week. Leo. Purr. <laughs> it's your turn. Let's see. Ah, business is just all fucky, man. Things are just out of order, out of whack. But someone will not change or things won't die for one reason or another, right? In order for that heart to heal, you know, 
So you gotta look at some options a little bit, Leos. You know, try to figure out what it is you're trying to do. As for this whole uh, where this person won't change or where this situation won't end, it's like you can't get over it. You just can't get on that bridge, you know? It's time to move forward from like something from the past in order to start something new. It could be a person, relationship, or thing, you know? Um, now you might feel a little bit disempowered because like everything is just out and like there's so many options around. It's like, it, it's not like none of the options are good or bad. It's just there's just so much shit you can pick from. It's like being in the 1970s ordering from the McDonald's menu to now. But you didn't, it's like, but the transition, like you just missed all those years from then into now. It's like someone just walks up and is just like, what the fuck? What is a fucking McNugget, you know? <laughs> you know, it's, it's like one of those things where it's just like, oh my god. Either way, it, it makes you feel like you've lost something a little bit, or you're just not yourself entirely. Now, unfortunately, you know there's going to be a lot of conflict when it comes to whatever it is that you're kind of still moping over a little bit, Leo. And right here, yeah, you might have to move forward because... You're trying to recover your heart, and you're not feeling any love in some sort of scenario anymore. Like, there's some sort of conflict here that's bugging you. You feel like you and somebody else was left out in the cold, but this person's like a liability to you. And you need to pick an option. Do you keep fighting for shit, or do you just be like, I don't want this anymore. I'm not giving any apologies. I don't love you. Blah, blah, blah. blah. All that snazzy jazz. Right? That's probably what's coming up for your week, Leo, to be honest. Hey, Sagittarius, it's your turn. Okay. <laughs> I know, that's really childish of me to make that voice every time, but Sagittarius has the most fun name, damn it. Let me live my life. <laughs> like, I know I'm 33, but I'm never fucking growing up, so we're just going to have to live with that, aren't we? <laughs> Kitten, what you doing? Being cute, that's what you're doing. Okay. Let's see, we got St. Michael being a big ass nope, Sagittarius. Like, we're not resurrecting this shit. You will not pass go. You will not collect 200 fucking dollars, good sir. What are you thinking right here? No, someone's in their fucking feelings and throwing a fit like a child. <laughs> Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, right? But someone's definitely in their feelings. While you're sitting over here looking like, what? I got a flower, like, you know, look at my cat. <laughs> you know, you're all happy and this bitch is over here like all mad and shit, plotting revenge. And you're over here like, you know, like garlic french fries would be like the best thing ever. Ugh, we got the king of swords over here. So you might not be resurrecting anything with the water sign right? They might still be looking at you like, are you going to pay attention to me? And you're like, no. <laughs> yeah, there's no new star with this person. They are just way too in their feelings about shit. That could be counterparts too, but I don't think that has anything to do with you. Yeah. You've just decided you're just going to keep your own pentacle and stick to yourself because it's just like, fuck. No, you know. And then this person finally gets the idea. Look at that. The light bulb came on in their head. Or it came on in your head and you figure out something about this guy, which might have something to do with her. She see, yeah, um, she might be his wife. Oh my god. Please be careful. Because you happen to deal with the water sign, Sagittarius, they might be married. You might end up... <laughs> You might end up, um, not wanting to deal with this shit at all. Nope. You're just like, nope, I'm out. I'm going to find somewhere else to go. Because it's like, I can be that faithful bitch, but who's this bitch? And why is she already mad? But this, but at the same time, these water signs could be the exact same people. You might have picked up something about them that they didn't realize, and now they're all in their feelings because they realize there's no start to this relationship that they were kind of betting on. Because you're pretty much like, you know what, I'm a solid bitch as the Queen of Pentacles. I need to fucking go. Or, or, or an Earth sign. You meet an Earth sign, they're gonna let you go. Yeah. Yeah. 
Like, there, nothing's turning in the favor of this position with Guy. I'm trying to stick around with him. And it'd be much easier just to manifest what you want to manifest by going elsewhere and not dealing with this weird-ass shit. Because I feel like, oh my god, Jesus Christ. What are, what, <laughs> what a day. What a day. Uh, I thought, my, I'm like, man. Good times, man. I love this shit. Anyway, yeah. Sagittarius, I think you need to go. I think I, th I think it's a good day. I think it's a good time to go because I'm really afraid about what happens if this bitch figures you out if they're not the same people, if they're actually a couple, right? Because I feel like that bitch is way crazier than you are, and we don't want to mess with that kind of crazy. You be any of the water signs, <laughs> but that fire signs is your weekly read. Yay! Finish. Anyway, so if you guys enjoyed this read, you can like, share, and subscribe. It's all up to you, really. I'd greatly appreciate it, of course. But I will see you guys later. I love your faces. Please take care and have a good evening. All right? Bye-bye.